Good morning, how are you all? Well, I always choose the morning that I look like rubbish to get on Facebook Live and say hello to you all. Literally crawled out of bed five minutes ago, grabbed the dog and heading off on my morning walk before I work this morning. And oh my God, I feel like, as I said, I look like rubbish, but I absolutely feel like rubbish as well this morning. I had a crazy night's sleep, like, I can't explain how crazy my sleep was. It was one of those days or nights, not even, I can't even speak. One of those nights that you just have like nuts dreams, like crazy stuff went down. I can't even remember what went down in my dreams last night, but there was a lot of crazy stuff and not much sleeping happening. Hello, Beck. Good morning. Look ama <laughs> amazing. I do not feel amazing. I'll tell you what, I feel... I actually, I don't do this very often, but I actually put, I reset my alarm for another half an hour because I felt so rubbish that I was like, I actually like need to go back to sleep. And um, because what happens is I find if you just have that extra 20 minutes, sometimes because what happens is it woke me up because I was having crazy dreams. It woke me up um, and I, come on dog, it, you know, when you're in the middle of a really, really deep sleep and then your dreams wake and you get woken up in the middle of that that sleep cycle it's really bad for you because it takes the rest of the day for you to catch up um if you're woken up in the middle of a can't remember the names of the cycles but one of them i know when i'm in a deep cycle um sleep cycle that is not women's cycle um so yeah i was dreaming really heavy and woke up and thought shit i need some more sleep Anyway, so, but of course my brain's busy by this stage and I was like, oh friggin, I just gotta get up. And I thought, I don't have much time. Space said she couldn't sleep last night. Wow, maybe something's going on with the planet. Holy shit, birds are attacking me. Um, with the planets or the moons or something. I'm not an expert in that side of things, but there was some, it was all childhood stuff for me as well. Like really crazy, like took me back to my childhood, to mum and dad's house, to mum and dad were in there. My sisters and brothers were in there dream my cousins were in dream um hey jen it was all just crazy nuts nuts and nuts and i usually sleep really well i could blame my sister because <gasps> jesus christ oh my god i think the birds are out to kill me this morning they were like two meters from my head holy dooly sorry everybody you never know what you're going to get on my lives every morning retrograde as of today oh well, there you go that'll be it um the birds are feeling it too by the sound of it look at this um what was i saying before the birds crazily attacked me um so yeah diane sent me uh a hypnosis meditation to do all my dog wants to do is sniff the ground i'm a bit over it to be honest dog come on um that she has recorded for our vips package people it was amazing it was so good i haven't i couldn't even reply I literally did fall asleep during it and I couldn't even reply at the end to tell her how amazing it was because I was so out of it. So, um, yeah, so I could blame her so I had crazy dreams. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it took me into a deep subconscious state that I didn't know about and maybe I'm starting... Brutus! Oh my God! <laughs> this is crazy, Michelle. This is what happens behind the scenes. I just swear at my dog. Um, process some deep-seated subconscious stuff going on for me. So let's just blame Diane. That's probably the easiest option right now because I have no other options. If I don't blame someone, I need to see a psychologist this morning because it was that nuts. I don't quite know where to, how to make sense of it all. Uh, it's, as I said, I can't even really remember it, but I just, I feel disturbed, put it that way. Uh, a little, a little bit scattered and a little bit um, off with the fairies. Um, there's arguments over when retrograde is. Don't ask me, I have no idea. Jodie Conjure will know. She, she is the retrograde queen. So yes, anyway, I decided to go for a quick walk instead. I'm only gonna do the quick one, just get the dog out, stretch her legs. Give me some fresh air and let me be able to talk to you. Beck blames her sister for everything. Best way to be. Don't ever take responsibility yourself. Always blame your sister. It's the best way. It's the most fun way and it's what you should do <laughs> take it from me self-development 101 blame your sister uh yeah so but it was a really really amazing hypnosis so for those of you on our packages um the vip package i think gets the uh hypnosis eases if that's a word and um it was really good really really good 
I'm like, wow, you're like a professional hypnosis person. Uh, it had like background music. It was amazing. Diane, if you're watching this, it was amazing. I haven't had a chance to reply to tell you it's amazing. I don't know when she gets time to do this stuff, but she's done it. So I need to also create some meditations myself. I have no idea how to do a meditation, where to start, what equipment to use, what program to use. No idea, but I've told everybody that on my Soul University program, which a couple of you girls are coming to, that I'm offering meditations on the archetypes for the, sh the shamanic um, rights that you'll be receiving during the, the course. So uh, each, each um, we work through what we think is called archetypes, which is basically the energies of animals, um, starting off with the snake energy, and we are to meditate on the energy of the animal daily. And I thought it would be nice if I recorded a beautiful meditation for you guys to be able to meditate to to that um, archetype. So I have put on there that that will be one of the things you will be receiving in the in my Soul University. But I, you know, typical Saunderson style, haven't recorded it. Don't know where to start. But the course doesn't start till May next year. So uh, by May, you will have some meditations, and I will. I can't blame my sister for this one. She, I mean, I had plans to her, to hitting her up to teach me how to do, um, how to do these meditations. So you will receive them. Don't you worry about that. I'm onto it, and uh, you'll get it. So that's how it works with these things. So yeah, my program is very super exciting. I've only got four spots left, ladies. Four spots out of ten. It's not about the how, Beck. It's about the now. Exactly. So release the program work the details out later so I mean in my head I know I know what's gonna how it's gonna run but I haven't got anything down on paper yet and my meditations obviously aren't recorded but it's not about the how it's about the now so I release the program anyway having faith in the universe that the right people will be there the ones that need it it's a deeper spiritual journey it's a four month four month journey last Sunday of each month you're gonna come and sit in circle with us for a whole day so they're like mini day retreats every day every month for four months and then mixed in with that will be a monthly group call and meditations and all sorts of amazing stuff just to delve you deeper into your spiritual side uh, mixed amongst it you'll be receiving the rights that I received of the Mooney Key tribe and we'll be learning a little bit about shamanism and how it works and amongst a heap of other spiritual stuff including cacao of course so if that's something you're interested there is only four spots i'm only taking 10 and i have literally sold six vicky my love i'm hoping that maybe you can come along one day and help me on one of the days because vicky has received the rights as well so yes uh and there's a few girls on here that already have purchased their well, they're not tickets i don't use like to use the word tickets but have got their places secured with their deposits and they're on payment plans which is exciting so yeah four spots left so that if that's something you're interested in please please comment below and I can send you some information um, the last thing oh yeah we got our we got our half day workshop on the weekend Saturday can you believe it we have got nearly a hundred people registered it is online it's going to be epic so if you've got anyone or yourself that wants to come along and see my sister and I do our thing for a couple of hours on Saturday morning, even if you can only drop in for an hour or so, it's better than nothing. Um, yes, let me know, and again, I will send you a link to get a free ticket to the half day workshop. We are our aim is to have 100 people registered. We do understand that 100 people usually will not turn up, but we do everything in our power to remind people. We've uh, employed someone to make phone calls to confirm that it's on because people are busy. We have an email series, we have updates on the group we have everything to remind people so uh we would love to get i mean if we had 85 bums on seats i would be out of this world excited so if you can help us achieve that please please share it around if you're not coming please please come i would love to say we had over 80 people online that would be freaking amazing so and you'll get something out of it even if you've done it before we change it up every single time it's always different because we have a PowerPoint that we don't really follow, to be completely honest. We go with our intuition and our gut on the day and it always works out perfectly fine. So yes, that's where we're at. So, oh, and the last thing I keep forgetting about is 
I keep forgetting and it's coming up super quick is uh, my connect with cacao evening that we're going to have it's the first one pretty much since COVID um, so it'll be a cacao circle it's a free one on the 30th of Sep October we are in 30th of October it's a Friday night 7 30 we're going to do cacao circle sharing it will also be offered online but if you're local to Forest Lake and you'd like to come along and meet some other ladies we are again capping the numbers at 10 just due to space and social distancing etc um, please jump on my Soul Junkies page and you'll see should see the event listed there for oh hello Shelly Bean Shell's the one that's going to help us call all these 85 people and remind them that the half day's on um, yeah that's about it so yeah sleep just to recap if you came in late had a crazy night's sleep nuts need to see a psychologist this morning from all the crazy dreams that I had blaming my sister because she sent me a hypnosis that she recorded and I put I, I did it right before bed so I think it stirred up some some conscious st st stuff and self-development 101 just blame your sister when you don't know what else to blame what else to do <laughs> That's it. That's what I have to say this morning. Beck, I want to be there in the flesh. Oh, fr yeah, it's a Friday night, so I don't know if you've got... You might, oh, you're going to have probably have little Harry, I'd say. I mean, if he goes to sleep and you want to put him to sleep at my house, I don't have my kids. But I did it 7.30 for those people that have kids because I was doing it 6.30 and I found out that people were giving me feedback. It was just too early and I get it when you've got kids. 6.30 ain't a good time. So 7.30 is a little bit more leeway for people that have children get them into bed before you come and join our circle but like i really encourage people to come to these things even if you're not sure what it is it's a feather always on my lookout for a little oh my backside is sore I did a bloody hard workout yesterday <laughs> a feather always keep an eye out for symbols and signs throughout the universe to show you that you're on the right track apparently i am on the right track because i just found a feather Anyway, I'm feeling much better. Thank you for allowing me to debrief after my rough night of dreams and Beck staying. Hang on, let me just check. I can't see what's going on here. Uh, Vicky says she'd love to come. Okay, Vic, I'll put your name down. If you can go on the event and register, that would make it a lot easier for me. I asked the girls to fix it yesterday. You meant to register through our new website. So you could go to www.thosetwosisters.com, two with a number two, thosetwosisters.com. And go to the event section and you should see an event there and i'm pretty sure you can register through that if not the facebook should take you there that's it's our first one we're testing to trialing if it's going to link up to the website so <laughs> bear with me if it doesn't work but yeah if you're wanting any of our stuff go to our website there's so much stuff on there you can make bookings to chat to me you can book in connection calls you can um get the information about soul university is actually on the website as well as well as our soul school it's all there in one place it's amazing I freaking love it I love my website it's so good it looks so professional um, highly recommend Amy Murrell if you're looking for a website to be built um, just so good I love it love 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 and love some more and all of our stuff will be on there even if you want to buy cacao you better jump on there click buy cacao and it'll take you off to the cacao website because it's separate so have an amazing day thank you so much and I will see you ladies on the 17th for the half day and then the 30th for the cacao circle and of course i'll see you other girls that have registered in may for our soul university if you want info either contact me or please check just check our website under soul learning and you'll see all the information there love you guys bye